I'm recording. Um, yeah. Uh, so, good afternoon. Uh, it feels like it's morning time because I was up half the night with a child that wasn't feeling well. But anyway, um, I want to do this breakfast meal that I was telling you about yesterday. It is Tuesday, 12.09, and so here we are. Um, and so I'll do the breakfast meal for you for lunch. This will be my lunch. Um, you take your skillet. <laughs> I prefer cast iron. I do have another kind, but I like cast iron best. It's God created non-stick surface. And so um, I'm heating this up. And let's see how many And so, um, anyway, today uh, we have school. We're going to be doing some grammar, reading, um, maybe some spelling, math, and definitely some science because we didn't do that yesterday. So, yeah, it's a, another boring day. Um, meals, school, laundry, cleaning. About it. Might round up some chickens, call down a dog, pet a cat, look at the garden. That's about it. Okay, so I'm going to take a handful or so of these vegetables. This isn't hot yet. It's starting to sizzle a little bit. idea from another YouTube channel. So this is not my idea, but I love, love it because what she was doing was comparing this meal, this breakfast, to a bowl of cereal. She, she had a bowl of cereal there and she said, if you had this bowl of cereal and then you had this plate, which one would you prefer? And which one do you think is going to keep you full longer? With that said, I had a bowl of cereal this morning for breakfast. But anyway, I like 40 calorie a sliced bread if I can get it. If I can't, no big deal. Um, it only cuts out 20 calories anyway from the regular bread. Let me get a plate. So yeah. Um, and this is not the biggest plate, it's a smaller plate. I guess they would call this what, salad plate? That's what I like to use. And it look like there's more on the plate. So I'm sauteing the vegetables. The vegetables, if you were doing Weight Watchers, it's zero points. Um, like I said, I don't do Weight Watchers, but I sort of keep up with the points sometimes because it helps me to calculate. If I'm doing a Weight Watchers recipe, it helps to calculate how many calories is in the meal. But um, anyway, uh, I'm not sure how many calories is in this. I actually need to look it up, I suppose. But um, it's not many. And if you take um, three, the equivalent of three eggs from this all whites, the calories is um, 75 calories. So let's say if these vegetables were 25 calories, because you know vegetables don't have many calories. Um, if it was 25 and this was 75, that's 100 calories there. I'm adding some Italian seasoning. I, I enjoy Ital Italian seasoning. And some salt. And some pepper. And collapse some garlic powder. And 
This will be my lunch. I'm gonna make the children's lunch as well. So I make sure that this is. I, I like to have the um, onions translucent. I love onion, no matter if it's raw or cooked. But with this, I like to have them um, pretty well done. And the tomato um, softens up a little bit. The uh, bell pepper softens up a wee bit, but you know, it's still got a little bit of crunch to it, which is good whenever you're having a meal. There's something satisfying about that crunch. So three, um, the equivalent of three eggs with these all whites is one third cup. While this is finishing up, I'll take my toast. I'll spray a little bit of this, of this on here. So like I said, this is 100 calories for the egg, the vegetables, and the bread's 140, and the um, spray zero. Spray a little bit of that on there. So with this, we're at 140 so far. And uh, one tablespoon of jelly is 50 calories. I'm going to take one teaspoon. There's three teaspoons and a tablespoon. So, um, we'll say this is like 17 calories, but we'll just bump it up to 20. So I smear jelly on the toast very thinly. So, um, we're at 160 calories. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour my egg whites. some cheese. One third cup is 110 calories. We're not going to have a third of the cup. I'll do half of a third. That would be 55 calories plus 160. That's 210 calories. points that lady said this would be for Weight Watchers. Ooh, I don't know. Four or five points? It wasn't many. Anyway. So here you go. It's about a hundred or yeah, two hundred and ten calories. And um, it's very filling. If you want to, you can round it up to 250. And then you can have some of your Weight Watcher soups, um, which is 20 calories for a cup. 
And so with breakfast, and if you had that twice, you want to round the Weight Watcher soups up twice to 50 calories. This would be 250, that would be 300 with the soups. And then you could have a 300 calorie lunch. Um, you could have a salad with a little bit of cheese sprinkled in, some lunch meat cut up into the salad. Um, or a, a sandwich is about 300 calories. And um, so that would be 600 calories that would take you through the day until supper time. And then you could have a six to 800 calorie um, supper and you'd be good to go for the day. Add that with a little bit of exercise a few days a week. And that should be helpful. Anyway, I'll talk with you later. I've got to go fix the children's lunch now and um, get on with school and um, tours and all that. Have a good day. Bye.